I'm a photography teacher. Over 17 years, I have taught hundreds of photographers about exposure. In the strangest situation of my life so far, I will learn more about exposure. Exposure to radiation. I'm a fortunate guy and I have cancer. I think I'm fortunate because that cancer can be treated by brachytherapy. To explain how brachytherapy works, I'm going to use an example that we can all relate to. This fresh slice of pumpkin represents one of my internal organs. These slices of jalapeno represent the cancer cells. In a surgical procedure in hospital, the surgeon will implant small seeds of radioactive iodine-125, represented here by these black peppercorns. Over a few months, the radiation from these cells should kill the cancer cells. The seeds themselves run out of radiation and remain a permanent and welcome guest in my body. This is the radiation safety document that they give you. Should death occur for any reason within one year of receiving your implant, your body must not be cremated. Objects that you touch or come in contact with do not become radioactive. That's disappointing. Any pregnant or possibly pregnant woman, which to me is almost any woman, should avoid prolonged close contact with you for the first four to five months after your implant. As long as she stays a distance of six feet or more away, there is no limit to the amount of time she can spend with you. How am I going to work? My work involves getting this close to people to show them how to do things. Small children should not sit on your lap, but can sit next to you with no time limit. Fashion statement. I've just realized there's a tube coming out of my you know what. A lot can change in your life over 24 hours. When the doctor put his radioactivity sensor over my body, mm -hmm. I was kicked into reality. Unreal. Unreal. I really am radioactive. I have 92 radioactive seeds in me, not to mention 22 incisions. When I go to the loo, I have to strain my urine in case I pass a radioactive seed. So now I have this one-size-fits-all strainer that comes with me 24-7. In case I do pass a radioactive seed, I have this lead-lined container. It's very small, but weighs about a kilogram. Every time you go to the loo, you look down and it's just red with blood. For the next five months, I need new behaviours to ensure that the radiation that's curing me affects only me. I go grocery shopping late at night while the supermarket's deserted. To avoid potentially pregnant women, I avoid elevators, so I take the stairs instead. So where's the big problem then? Thousands of people get cancer every year and they get treated like I do. And presumably, most of us these days get better. So this should have a happy ending, right? Hang on. But as I say, beware real life ironies. At some point, you've got to explain this to your family. I proceed to explain this to my eldest son, to explain that since I am radioactive, I can no longer go anywhere near anyone who is or could be pregnant. His reply was magnificent. Dad, congratulations. My wife is pregnant and you're gonna be a grandfather. Unbelievable timing. I was speechless. Now, all I can think about 
are memories that I can't have. The past couple of weeks have been extraordinary. And when you try and explain all of these things that have gone on, there's always one common question that everyone wants to know. That when the lights go out, does he or doesn't he? Just showing off. <laughs>